as I said, it's a technical information report. So no real truck refuelings have been executed. Yeah, uh, simply spoken because these trucks do not yet really exist. Huh? Um, and uh, H2 fills has an upgraded version. An upgraded version of H2 fills has been used mainly as a simulating model. And NREL has uh, done numerous tests under many different conditions. And uh, these H2 fills uh, results, they, they do uh, match the, the results of, of the real life tests. So we, so the, the, because they're all um, uh, equipped with thermocouple trees and uh, everything has been validated and it corresponds. So that's uh, one remark I have to say concerning the thermodynamic fueling simulations. And obviously, it, same with the light duty vehicle protocol, we don't know exactly what will arrive at the station. How many tanks, what kind of uh, thermodynamic uh, parameters will be there, etc. Uh, tank full, tank length, and so on. So all these variables actually are unknown, still also in this protocol of the Dash 5. ISO will be different, but at this moment, we do not know them. So what did we do? We, uh, before we started the development, really a lot of companies were interviewed and we requested so those companies that were uh, operators but also manufacturers of stations manufacturers of vehicles manufacturers of tanks manufacturers of piping uh, etc uh, we interviewed them and we asked them their current and uh, potential future technical specifications of their products and what we did is we took the worst case conditions of uh, all uh, items here, just similar like we did with the light duty vehicle protocol, which means that the ISO should be a uh, much higher improvement of uh, fueling speed than, than this one, which is much better than the light duty version, of course. Also, as with the light duty vehicle uh, protocol, we always took hot cases and cold cases uh, into account. So that's why, for example, um, uh, if you go to negative ambient temperatures, uh, you will not see a change in, in the uh, APRR rates because we assume that, uh, that the vehicle is coming from a garage and, and that there has been some uh, hot soaking of the, the tanks. And so they decide mainly the APRR, while the cold case uh, conditions, uh, where we assume it's a type three tank, is mainly used for deciding what the end pressure target is. So the, the same strategy has been taken for the Dash 5. New is that now uh, we, they, we did a lot of different simulations under with many different types of uh, uh, concepts. So, uh, fueling tubing length and thermodynamic properties were taken into account. Uh, also here, certain and um, uh, what is very important is the maximum tank size yeah? because that one will probably heat most in most conditions however sometimes it is possible in some specific conditions it's also possible that the smallest tank will heat most that depends and uh, uh, so the as i already explained uh, it will go between 10 kilogram to 201 kilogram and when we look at all the uh, thermodynamic parameters, they have changed compared to the uh, light duty vehicle. So if I compare the D category of light duty versions, J2601, and I compare it with the D category of Dash 5, and then of course the tank sizes have increased a lot, but even 
uh, like thermal conductivity of the plastic liner has changed because we noticed that there is much more uh, polyamir uh, inner lining for the tanks, uh, etc. Uh, thicknesses have changed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I would advise you to look at Appendix A uh, for both standards, where you can find these assumptions. So the assumptions of the vehicle are very different between the category J2601 and the Dash 5, uh, mainly because extensive use of PA as tank liner and the possibility to have single tanks larger than 250 liters in HDVs, and that's the the reason why most probably the D category in the current J2601 will not be used anymore as of next year. Vincent, we, we just yes. had some interruptions uh, of, of your voice. Um, yeah, OK, I, but you know what I will do in that case? I will uh, stop sharing my. <coughs> I hope that this will work. Oops, um, no. Uh, yep. Wait, I was here. Yeah. I hope you did not miss too much. No, no, it was and, just a small. Okay. So I have another request from the CEP to all the operators, manufacturers of the stations. Yeah. Um, so when our trucks from the vehicle OEMs are coming on the market, uh, most probably there will be several trucks with more than 250 liter tank, single tank capacity, which means that these trucks are not allowed to be fueled at D category stations of the current SAE J2601. So therefore, we would like to know uh, which, who are the stations in Europe that do have the current D category of the SA2 J2601. How, we don't have a clear view of how many of these stations there are and where they are located. And preferably, we would also like to hear from you um, are they going to be updated or not to a D category dash five, for example? Hmm? There is not so much changed. So software wise, uh, it's not a huge difference. Of course, the tables need to be uh, changed. That's for sure. But uh, the basic methodology is the same. So that's a request uh, uh, the CEP has to all operators and manufacturers of the stations. Okay, Ooh, Vincent, wait, this is Klaus. Yeah. yeah, Klaus, please go ahead. Yeah, thank you very much. Vincent, uh, so you mentioned Category D fueling uh, stations, uh, but right now only 870 Category D is allowed in the J2601. 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 But, but yeah. uh, in Europe, we are mostly uh, fueling H35, so there's no, at the moment, applicable Category D fueling protocol, right? No, category D is 70 megapascal. Yes. So, uh, but maybe there are some stations who have been programmed for this. Huh? Okay. I would just want to make so, sure if, if it was also 870 that you were, or 870 you were specifically looking for. Yeah. Since yeah, yeah I'm, I'm looking for 870. Out. Yeah, I'm looking for 870. Yeah. Got it. Absolutely. Because there is no D category in the dash five for H35. It's uh, only H70. Yeah. So, for example, if Nell has some stations programmed with D category, uh, then please uh, let us know if that is the case. We do, but not in Europe. Ah, OK. That's good. Good news. Then we know that. <laughs> so the same goes for all the other uh, manufacturers and operators. So again, I cannot see if there are any hands up. So no, no. just waiting a, a minute or so. I just was wondering whether, since since Klaus has raised the question, whether it's only focus. We are only focusing 
uh, of on, on European stations or also worldwide. So um, and at the end of the day, you, you wanted to have a clearer view, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah, that's only true. For Europe. Yeah, yeah, indeed, you're right. You're right. Uh, yeah. So yeah, if Volvo or, or other manufacturers uh, are exporting trucks to other areas in the world, maybe. But um, yeah, at, at this moment, if I see, if I have an overview of the European stations, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mainly focused on uh, Europe. Yeah, yeah but if anyone wants to, wants to share the, the other stations as well, please go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there there are no raised hands here. No, are there? Um, no, no station no, no. manufacturer. No, no, it's a question to the audience. Yeah. So, are there station manufacturers who program the D category J two six zero one into their dispenser? I can repeat Nils position. We do have yeah. dispensers with category <laughs> D, but not in Europe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I was actually asking to the other ones except Nell. <laughs> yes, uh, Vincent, this is Bo Philips yeah. from Asato. Mm -hmm. um, we currently don't have uh, stations with uh, the D category, but we have uh, stations in the pipeline which we, we do, which we will built uh, next year that will have the D category. Ah, but that so will be the dash it is in development. Then. Yeah. Um, well, it is in development, so we have to decide what we will do in that part. But yeah, mm. so we'll have to mm. look. Yeah, OK. Anybody else? No? Hey, Linde here. <clears throat> you were really talking. Um, uh, we also have the category D uh, in Korea. Only in Korea. Okay. As far as I know, only in Korea. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> 